Well, again, I'm going to reiterate, uh, this just goes on and on and on and on. Every day the newspapers are full of it. And so we need to be drug testing doctors. 52% of doctors are intoxicated when they come to work every day, either on alcohol, street drugs, or prescription drugs, 52%. And um, uh, they need to be drug tested. I don't want them stuck with needles five times a day, but before they do any procedure, we're, you know, uh, just any procedure they're going to do, even the simplest ones, they need to have a urine test and uh, recorded uh, what's in there, right? And so they do that for athletes that win gold medals, the Olympic athletes, the university athletes. Uh, so we need to do that for doctors. They do that for the road truckers, they do that for our policemen. Uh, we need to do that for doctors. And so I believe uh, any surgeon that comes in is going to do surgery that day. He needs to be tested when he comes in. And then two minutes before any surgery, he's all scrubbed up, ready to go. He has to give a urine test, and he goes and washes his hands again. And um, if uh, we get a, a red light, he can't do the surgery. Three strikes, he's out. Three strikes, he loses his license. And that's how harsh it's got to be. Why? Because, first of all, simple Medical mistakes are the third cause of death in America. Simple medical mistakes are the third leading cause of death in America. Number one is, oh, doctors. <laughs> Number one cause of death in America is doctors. According to a big study that was published, full-page article in the USA Today newspaper, February 5, 2007, medical doctors, and this, and this data was provided by the Centers for Disease Control, and uh, the Journal of the American Medical Association, the Institute of Medicine. We're talking about very, very well-respected organizations here. One federal, the Center for Disease Control. And combined data show that medical doctors, each year in America alone, kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their, past, uh, uh, their uh, patients in their workplace, hospitals and clinics. They kill, injure, and infect 15 million of their patients in hospitals and clinics each year. That's a yearly figure. They get a walk. That's because they're a protected monopoly. They're self-policing. They have legislated all of their competition into being fifth-class citizens. And I'm prepared to testify in front of Congress. If anybody can get me in front of Congress, uh, the House, the Senate, doesn't matter to me. I will testify because I have all the data. And um, uh, this is uh, outrageous that this is allowed to go on. In the meantime, how do you protect yourself? I want you to get a hold of that trilogy of books, uh, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport to Aromatherapy, and learn how to deal with the 90... 900 different diseases are in there using vitamins and minerals and trace minerals and rare earths, amino acids, fatty acids, herbs, aromatherapy oils. That's the passport to aromatherapy. Okay. Uh, the um, Let's Play Herbal Doctor and Let's Play Doctor. Now, in chapter, I believe it's chapter 7, the home laboratory chapter, it teaches you how to do your own laboratory tests and how to translate and interpret medical data, lab tests that your doctor may have done on you in years past and given you the uh, copies of the information so you can check it out. In addition to the trilogy of books, Let's Play Doctor, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy, uh, and the book Let's Play Doctor, and again, combined, Let's Play Doctor, uh, Let's Play Herbal Doctor, and the Passport Aromatherapy, they teach you how to deal with over 900 different diseases. Okay, I want you to also get a hold of the book Immortality. It tells you what the, the top 20 longevity cultures on earth do, what they don't do, and why they have 40 times 100 year olds we do. They have 40 times 100 year olds we do. They have 100 per 250 of their population. We have 100 per 10,000. These people are all illiterate. They're third world cultures. They have no doctors. They have no clinics, no hospitals, no private or government insurance. And yet they have 40 times 100 as we do. And then, of course, when you get a hold of the book Epigenetics, the subtitle is the, the Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. The Death of the Genetic Theory of Disease Transmission. And let me tell you, um, there's the, the, the halls of science are littered with failed medical theories. And this theory that everything is caused by genetics is one of the most recent ones that you're going to find is, in, in fact, when you read this book, you say, oh, my gosh, I didn't realize the medical system was pulling the wool over our eyes. They are just out of their minds, and I have followed them blindly because I respected them, and now you have to give them up. You have to give them up as being um, frauds. You have to give them up as being felons. They are on drugs. They're on alcohol. They kill people, they injure people, they defraud America of $750 billion, a.k.a. three-quarters of a trillion dollars each year. Huge article, September 2012. 30 cents out of every dollar that your doctor bills you and your insurance companies is fraudulent billing. He bills you for things he didn't do, and he bills you for things he did do that you didn't need. 
That's so he can make his payments. Okay, he uses you for the ATM machine. You must begin to take care of yourself. Um, here in a couple of months, I'll be turning 75 using the Chinese method of aging, using the American method, uh, method of aging. I'll be 74. And guess what? I have not been, ever been on a prescription drug. I have to sign a notary note attesting you know, for life insurance that I'm not on any medication because they can't believe there's a, a 74 slash 75 year old guy who um, is not uh, on 27 prescription drugs and doesn't have 15 diseases and is seeing five specialists. They have never seen anything like that. Well, if everybody were like me medically in America, the medical system would be real humble, wouldn't they? They'd be very humble. Why would they be humble? Because they'd be like the Maytag repairman. There would be no need for them. There would absolutely be no need for them. So please take care of yourself. Give a Yongevity business and Yongevity products to your loved ones and your friends every time there's a holiday, any need for a present, birthdays, Christmas, whatever, wedding presents. Don't give money. Don't give booties. Give the gift of life. 90 for life. We'll be back after these messages. Okay, Doug, what pearls of wisdom do you have for us? Well, for years, Doc, I've heard you talk about the VA and saying that, uh, you know, uh, there's two ways you could die for your country, once on the field of battle and the other at the VA hospital. Well, that you're kind of vindicated on this one. As apparently, according to this exclusive CNN story, uh, there's now a third way you could die in association with the VA. According to this story, it's headlined, Phoenix VA officials deny there's a secret waiting list. A doctor says they're lying. CNN revealed accusations from a retired Veterans Administration doctor that the VA in Phoenix had a secret list for patients waiting for doctor appointments that differed from the official list. And he said as a result of that, 40 veterans died waiting for care. And, it, what, and what they were really waiting for was they were waiting for their very first appointment. And in some accounts in this story, they say that some, some guys waited two years to get their first appointment after the, you know, they were out of the service and maybe had been injured during combat. They say top officials at the Phoenix VA denied any existence of a secret waiting list in an in-depth interview on CNN. They denied that delays in care caused the deaths of U.S. veterans at the facility. But only hours after making those denials, the top VA physician who first appeared Appeared on CNN had brought had brought the allegations to light. Declared that the VA fi- officials are lying and that they are covering up what actually happened in Phoenix. And that VA official is Dr. Sam Foote. He's now retired. And he and other off-the-record sources agreed with him. The managers at the VA concocted an elaborate scheme to cover up long wait times. And they said sources said that more than 1,400 vets were placed on a purported secret list. And documents were shredded to hide the evidence, and at least 40 veterans died waiting for care. And uh, President Obama, when he heard about this, of course, he's calling for an investigation. There's been numerous members of Congress that are calling for hearings on the Phoenix VA. And at least three members of Congress have publicly called for the resignation of Sharon Hellman, the Phoenix VA director. And a little later in the story, they asked her about that. She said, I have no I'm not going anywhere anytime soon. It's a good government gig. Why would she give that up? In an interview with CNN, uh, Helmut and her chief of staff, a Dr. Darren Deering, denied any secret effort to cover up the uh, or hide wait times. Uh, according to Helmut, she's quoted as seven. It's never come from me. Hours uh, at, later, after watching Helmut and Deering make those statements, this Dr. Sam Foote said incredulously, Are you kidding? A 24-year VA physician and clinic director recently retired and went public with the details of the list. He said it all started on the secret list in February of 2013. They changed over from paper to electronic early in the summer, and as they transferred names over to the electronic waiting list, he said she, that meaning Hellman, was called on an ethics consult evaluation about that, and it's written down and documented in July. The emails referred to, uh, he's referring to are from July 2013 that show that top management, including Hellman, were well aware about the wait, actual wait times and knew about off the books list, even and denied, uh, defended it, that is, its use to the staff in one internal email dated July 3rd, 2013, one staffer raises concerns about the secret electronic list and that officials are praising its use. 
And it's, there's a quote from that email. They say, I have to say, I think it's unfair to call any of this a success when veterans are waiting weeks on an electronic waiting list before they're called to, for a scheduled first PCP appointment. The email states, sure, when their appointment's created, it can be 14 days out, but they're making them wait 6 to 20 weeks to create that original appointment. They say nearly three weeks into this investigation, CNN had been requesting an interview with Hellman, and uh, she repeatedly denied it. And then uh, they actually went to her place of work, and uh, found that uh, uh, that she was parked in an emergency vehicle only and wouldn't talk to the press and then, then called for an interview a little later. But uh, we're just about at break time here, though, Doc. Okay, well, yeah, thank you for bringing that up, Doug. It just shows once again that um, this, this needs to be taken over by the public. I'd rather see a military. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to Indiana and Valerie. You're on with Dr. Wallach. Well, Valerie, you're on the air. Hi, Dr. Wallach. Um, Hi. Thanks for um, taking my call. Um, I recently finished a round of um, amoxicillin, 500 milligram, every six hours, and I did um, uh, quite a bit of ibuprofen, 800 milligram for a severe tooth infection, but I still have the infection. And I wanted to know, is there an alternative? Because I, I do have to get it extracted. And I also have tendonitis from an arm sprain. And the doctor wants to put me on methopretinosolon, mm-hmm. 4 milligrams. Okay. Well, the trouble with any kind of prednisone, um, it will actually accelerate the loss of minerals in the bones. And if you use it for any length of time, you know, say four to six months, you're going to get diabetes. Type 2 diabetes is a common side effect. So that's not one of my favorites. How much do you weigh, Valerie? Um, I weigh 250. Okay. Now, do you have diabetes already? Yes, sir, type 2, diagnosed September 2012, and I'm hypertensive. The hypertension is under control. I am on the, um, the minerals and the other items I purchased at your meeting the other night. I'm quite nauseous. I guess the toxins are being stirred up here, but for the tendonitis, um, I have six pills to take on the first day and down to one pill, you know, it's about 21 21 pills that I need to take, and I don't want to take it. Yeah. Okay. Well, going by body weight, we've got a dose shift for 300 pounds, okay? If uh, that's uh, financially out of the way, then you go for 200 pounds, and we'll help you lose some more weight. Uh, basically, I want you to take two healthy blood sugar packs per m- uh, month, or three, better yet, three. Ideally, that would be um, uh, one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, two scoops of the Ontan Tangerine 2.0 Nutri-Crystals at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then four of the Sweeties, that would be 12 a day, four at breakfast, four at lunch, four at dinner. All that would be accomplished by the three healthy um, blood sugar packs. Now, again, if, if that's financially out of your uh, capability, then don't go any lower than two. Then for the tendonitis, I would get two large bottles of the... Um, of the um, ultimate glucogel capsules, glucogel, and take 15 of those a day, five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. They're designed to support and promote maintenance and repair of cartilage, ligaments, tendons, connective tissue, discs between the vertebrae. And because you have high blood pressure, I'd also throw in the ultimate daily tablets, three of those twice a day. Might not hurt to get two bottles and take three three times a day. Uh, That will support and promote healthy blood pressure and blood flow through obstructed arteries. And then for the infection, the killer body, 12 of those, a day, four, four, and four, that's three bottles a month. Call me every two weeks, dear. We'll walk you through this. We'll be back after these messages. Let's head to Massachusetts, and Jack, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Hello, Jack, you're on the air. Hello, Dr. Wallach. God bless you, and thank you for your dedication to health. Well, thank you. How can I help you, sir? Well, I have ALS symptoms. Um, okay. I've I heard your recommendations, and I heard something yesterday from Doctor, um, the other doctor, and uh, Glidden? They were, Doctor Glidden. Yeah, they, they were different. Um, they were a little bit different, and I did two cycles of um, of the Healthy Brain Impact, not getting the results that I want. Um, and I just make, I wanted to go over with you, and I, I really want to get this um, sure. straightened out. And by the way, I went through a whole nightmare of, of doctors just trying to get someone to listen to me, um, it just, mm-hmm. the doctors were ridiculous. Um, yeah, well, uh, just that awareness is going to help you. 
being aware that they are falling short. They are uh, a group of people who have failed us terribly. So um, let me go over what I think you should have. How much do you weigh, Jack? I'm um, 48 years old. I'm 5'9", 160-ish. Okay. Gotcha. You, you have any... muscle. <laughs> okay. Very good. That's a good thing. Now, do you have any history of any skin problems, any eczema, dermatitis, or psoriasis? You know, um, I got off the whole wheat diet, like you said, when I first heard you a couple months ago, but I did have, you know, acne growing up. I did have, mm-hmm. um, uh, what's that in your chest? Uh, when you have scar tissue. Asthma? And, um, uh, there's a name for something Bron- when you get... Bronchi- bronchitis, asthma? Uh, no bronchitis, asthma. I got a lot of stress throat. Um, I don't, I'm not a good healer of the skin. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, did you ever have any, did you have your appendix out? No, I had keloids. That was the word, keloids. Keloids, okay. Yeah, those are scar um, tissues that don't heal real well, and it gets big scars. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so at any rate, um, did you have any bowel problems, constipation, diarrhea, bloating, belly pain? Um, no, some of that off and on, some get, you know, not, you know, not continuous, but here and okay. there. Okay. Well, anytime people have things like ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, um, uh, Parkinson's disease, MS, uh, any of the dementias, anything going on with the brain, I like to, and, and we've had some really, really severe ALS patients, I mean, they're terminal, being fed with G-tubes, and in 90 days they're clinically normal, okay? And so, uh, again, I'm going to reiterate, uh, you need to be on a drop-dead gluten-free diet, no wheat, barley, rye, or oats, and wouldn't hurt to listen to that CD, Serial Killers, so you see all the the hidden places you're going to find gluten. It's easy to give up bread and wheat um, noodles and wheat crackers and things like that, but it's the hidden places um, in contaminated, cross-contaminated yogurt and ice cream and nuts, and they use to thicken uh, things like um, uh, gravy and uh, soups. It's in every cereal, of course. And um, hang on, Jack, and we'll go over the supplement program after these messages. Okay, Doug, let's go right back to Massachusetts and Jack. Okay, Shar? Yes? This is a Shar thing. You were involved with uh, two of our, at least two, at least two that I know of, of hundreds of people we've dealt with with ALS and MS and, and um, uh, things like um, Parkinson's disease. And um, uh, you, you know um, uh, Roger Kirkby? I do. Yep. And, of course, Parkinson's disease is very similar to ALS just has more tremors, but the, the disease is still the basal ganglion of the brain and so forth. And so uh, tell me your experience with uh, David Dietrich. Well, David Dietrich was a big guy, and he had, he had uh, Parkinson's disease and basically did what you said, ate 10 to 12 eggs a day and got on all the products that, you mm-hmm. know, we told him to take. And he did everything, and three months later, he was completely free of any symptoms of uh, uh, Parkinson's disease. And he couldn't even hardly walk. He was taking baby steps, and his arms were flaring all over. The one that had ALS, though, uh, Roger Kirkby, I talked to him personally after he got better, and he was on a feeding tube. His wife left him, and his <clears throat> he had to move in with his parents, and they were in their 80s at the time. And he remembers working on his hands and knees in his garden for three days, and he said, I had no selenium, and all the vapors from my fillings were going up, which basically burned up his brain, ate up his brain. And so he started falling down better? after that, did and it was a while before they did, you know, diagnosed him with ALS. And, and did he get better on a program? He got completely better. I mean, he was walk. He could do anything you or I could do. He could walk. He could talk. He could eat, he could do do anything. And he, he got his job back, he got his driver's license back, and yeah, he was he in a coma when I... Doctor when, saying that yeah. he, would, he would live a normal life just like you or I. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's what his doctor said after he did our program. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, thank you, Ms. Shar. <laughs> so basically okay. what he needs to do is rebuild the myelin in his brain by, ta- by eating a lot of eggs and butter. Yep. And okay, so here we go. Uh, as Shar said, uh, Jack, what I want you to do at 160 pounds, is to have two healthy uh, brain and um, uh, heart packs. That will, and I want you to get an extra bottle of selenium, and that will allow you to have three selenium three times a day. You need a two healthy brain and heart packs a month and, and one bottle of selenium. That will allow you to have three selenium at breakfast, lunch, and dinner, um, an ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner, two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine 2.0 Nutri-Crystals uh, twice a day, 
Also, I want you to have the three EFA pluses twice a day and the three EFAs twice a day. All that will be accomplished by the two healthy brain and heart packs and one bottle of selenium. And then, as Char said, at 160 pounds, I really need you to eat uh, eight to ten eggs a day, eight to ten eggs a day. They can be soft poached with soft yolks. They can be soft boiled with soft yolks. They can be soft, 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 scrambled in butter, not margarine or oils. And then I also want you to throw in the smart effects. I want you to throw in the smart effects three of those three times a day, three bottles a month. And that is to provide the raw materials for your brain to make neurotransmitters for memory, cognition, which is problem-solving, sociability, and also uh, for uh, motor trans- uh, transmitters, okay, motor neurotransmitters. So that's very important. Then, um, let's see here. Again, it's imperative you get off of gluten, no wheat, brown, and oats, no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites, absolutely no oils, no uh, margarine, mayonnaise, salad dressings, no olive oil, no coconut oil, no oils, because we've got to stop the ongoing damage in the brain. And I would also uh, throw in the immortalium. Throw in the immortalium. Take two of those tablets at breakfast, two for dinner, and uh, that one bottle a month of the immortalium. The whole purpose of the immortalium is to encourage um, a longer life by sparing the telomeres on the uh, caps. They're kind of like the end caps on your chromosomes, which are required to make um, within your cells to have this, the normal cells duplicate. And this is what we need here when you have ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. And so I would have you take the immortalium. Um, you, you know, if you want to, you could also throw in uh, the um, oh, uh, Cell Shield RTQ, another antioxidant. You take five of those twice a day, but, but at least take the immortalium, two of those twice a day, and that's going to encourage your stem cells uh, to live longer and function uh, longer uh, and do a better job of duplicating. Uh, this is based on the 2009 Nobel Prize um, winning uh, chemistry um, team. And so this is, this is high-tech stuff. And, um, again, we deal with, every year we deal with dozens of people with ALS, dozens of people with Parkinson's disease, and hundreds of people with MS. And we have some up in um, Canada we track them because they got free medical care. They can get a CAT scan or an MRI or an ultrasound anytime we need to do it so we can track what's going on inside their head. So anytime you see the doctors, uh, get us feedback. Let us know how you're doing. And, uh, uh, you know, get copies of all the records so you can read back their opinions and stuff uh, so we can uh, tweak this thing as we go along here. Okay, Doug, let's go to callers. Let's head to California. Ed Vernell, you're on with Dr. Wallach. Vernell, you're on the air. God bless you, Dr. Wallach. How are you doing today? Well, very fine. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. What's up? Okay. I'm calling because uh, I have high blood pressure. I have three herniated discs in my back, and I'd like to know how. what could I take in order to liquidate this problem. And my wife, she just uh, was, she's over with the cancer now. Thank God she didn't have to have anything removed, uh, but she's okay now. But I thought about what you said when I was over at my brother-in-law's house the other day, my sister, she has your books, uh, Queens Out of Davis, and uh, her husband, Mark, Minister Mark Davis, we was at his house yesterday for a funeral, and uh, they put on a tape, and we heard you talking to uh, uh, Pastor uh, Benny Hinn, and yeah. I, was, I said, I need that number. I need to talk to him because I want to see what he could do to help us. So I call, I'm calling now because I'd like to know how could you help us uh, with the problems that we have. Oh, and okay. also, too, the prostate, I don't have prostate, but then when I go for my checkup, they say the levels are high, then it gets down low, then it's high. So i like to know what can I take to just cure the whole thing. Okay, well, let's see if we can help you out here. We'll talk about your wife if we have time. Otherwise, you may have to call again, okay? Uh, so let's do one at a time. Let's start out with Vernell. How much do you weigh, sir? I weigh, to my me? Yes, how much do you weigh, sir? I weigh one, 175. Okay. Okay, Char? Yes. Okay, this is a Char thing. He's got disc problems in his back. He's got high blood pressure and some prostate issues that come and go. What would you do for a 175-pound guy? Well, he needs two healthy bone and joint packs, and he also needs to add uh, ProstFX for the prostate, and he needs to add Ultimate Daily for the, uh, just to make sure everything works. <laughs> okay. Yeah, the Ultimate Daily, that's good for the high blood pressure and also good for the... Um, kidney function and so on, right, okay? Right. 
Exactly. Very good. Very good. Okay. So, again, Char is right on the money here, Vernell. Uh, for yourself, I'd have you get two of the healthy bone and joint packs. That would allow you to have one ounce of the Osteo FX Plus. This is also going to help the blood pressure. One ounce of the Osteo FX Plus at breakfast and dinner. Two scoops of the Beyond Tangerine 2.0 Nutri Crystals twice a day. Three of the EFA Pluses at breakfast and dinner. And 15 glucogel a day. That's five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. All that would be provided by the two healthy bone and joint packs per month. The Prost FX, your body weight, I'd have you get two bottles a month of the Prost FX. So you can take three twice a day. For the high blood pressure, one bottle of the Ultimate Daily Tablets. I want you to take three twice a day. That's one bottle a month. And let's see here. Um, Why don't you go ahead and hang on. Let's see if we can talk briefly about your wife after we come back. Be ready. We'll talk about your wife for a moment. We'll be back after these messages. We're back with Dead Doctors Don't Lie on the ZBS Radio Network. Dr. Joel Wallach here for Young Divinity, 90 for Life Crusade. And, Doug, let's go right back to California. And, Vernell, tell us about your wife, Vernell. Okay, yes, my wife, she had beautiful, long black hair down her back. And what happened was when she found out that she had breast cancer, she went to this doctor. And I believe Dr. Wallach, when he said that this doctor, uh, he really just couldn't wait to do the surgery because I know that he probably, and I was telling her that I know he's going to get a lot of money for this. But to make a long story short, I'd like to know what can she take to make her hair grow back long again. Uh, They didn't have to amputate her breasts or anything. She's fine with that. And her hair is growing just a little bit, but I want it to be like it was when I first first met her. Our anniversary is next week. We've been married 18 years next week. Okay, congratulations. Okay, what does your wife weigh? She weighed 170, no, ooh, I'm sorry, ooh, she'd be so mad at me. She weighed one, uh, about 140. Okay. Yes, and sir. And how tall is she? How tall is she? Uh, she's about 5'4", five, 5'6". Five, okay. All righty. <clears throat> All right. No other issues, no diabetes, no arthritis? No, sir. Okay. She do complain about bones. She wanted me to let you know too. Uh, she have something. She want to know what can she take for bones? Uh, make her bones bone stronger. Pain. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay. At one hundred and forty pounds, I'd have her take uh, one healthy bone and joint pack uh, per month. One healthy bone and joint pack per month. I'd get an extra bottle, uh, the large bottle of the glucogel, so she can have fifteen of those a day: five at breakfast, five at lunch, five at dinner. And then I'd also have her get the. Selenium, I want her to have two bottles of selenium, three at breakfast, three at dinner. I'd have her get one quart a month of the um, Ultimate Classic, so she can have an ounce of Ultimate Classic at bedtime. And let's see here. I'd also have her take the Immortalium. Immortalium, take two twice a day. That's going to get her auric points, her uh, antioxidant um, points up to protect her. And it's imperative she stay away from the bad stuff, things that are in trouble. When she cooks meat, there's got to be cooked medium rare, not well done. Uh, when she uh, eats, uh, she cannot have salad dressing. No oils, no olive oil, uh, no coconut oil, no margarine, mayonnaise, salad dressings, cooking oils. Absolutely no, um, uh, let's see here, no fried foods, no processed meats with nitrates and nitrites. All those things drive cancer, so she has to stay away from that. Then um, I would also have her... Um, let's see here. But, but, but I think that covers it. Let, oh, well, I throw in one more thing. The Cell Shield RTQ. I'd have her take five of those twice a day. Uh, Cell Shield RTQ. That's going to get her immune system up. That's going to be her best friend here. Where we'll, with her dietary changes, that'll stop driving the cancer. Give us a call every couple of weeks for now. Let us know how you're doing. Let us know how your wife is doing. We'll walk you guys through this. Okay, Doug, how much time we got here? Uh, we got uh, just over a minute. Okay, just over a minute. Char? Yes. Okay. Why don't you give us a, you know, we just had the Longevity um, uh, annual convention. We had 2,200 people in Anaheim, California, and um, people are excited. And they're excited, and, of course, you're one of their heroes. You've been with me. You're the top distributor, number one distributor. You've been with me for 25 years. What would you tell people? What would you tell people about becoming an associate and helping us spread the message? And with, uh, Do we pay Okay. Oh, okay, great, and never, never had a check missed or anything else. I get checks come every every month, right on time. <laughs> right on time, and you can attest. 
and everybody, this isn't just you, everybody who's associated with us, their checks come on time, and we've been doing this for 17 years. Yep, and so really, really appreciate all of your efforts. Uh, you train so many people, which is really great stuff, and um, I can't thank you enough. Uh, you've been right on today, as you usually are, and so I'm very, very proud of you, all the great things you do for people. And how many people do you have in your marketing group, Char? Uh, over 400,000, and I think what I'd like to say, too, is health care is not rocket science. It's very simple once you get down to the basics. I mean, if you can compare it to a car, it's very similar. You just got to give your body all the nutrients, just like you got to give the car gas, oil, and water. It's no Well, difference. there you go. Well, thank you, dear. Okay, well, super job, Char, uh, so much. Uh, and thank you, Doug and Richard, superlative job as usual. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for great testimonies today. God bless our troops. God bless our Navy SEALs. And God bless America.